Hi everyone, so the Darkening of Tristam event is live, it has actually started yesterday and I already played through it a little bit, so in case you don't know this one, this is the Diablo 1 anniversary event that was introduced a few years ago and it comes around every January and it will last through the entire month, so you can take your time to play it and there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can get, there's like the butcher pet, there's some demonic and angelic portrait frames, there's the, the cow pet so a couple neat things here and here are all the objectives, you can go check them out and see what you need. In general it doesn't really take long to complete it and uh, you get like several little cosmetics. I also have the full guide here from last year that you can go check out with all the cosmetics, how to farm them in the most efficient way. And also here's for example the list of all the um, different unique monsters you have to find and all this kind of stuff. But there is one neat addition to this. And that is that this season in particular, you can get soul shards there from killing the bosses. And in fact, the bosses drop all seven soul shards every single time you kill them, which is a massive amount of regular gems that you can get there. So here I took my dash monk with my bounty setup. And basically what I did is I just uh, killed the butcher and the skeleton king. The butcher is in floor two and the skeleton king is behind floor three in this little tomb and the whole run takes something like a minute or so, maybe one and a half minutes on average with you know, getting back to town and going new game. So I actually farmed this for one hour and then it should do I think 44 runs or something like that. So yeah, it is really fast and the layouts are pretty predictable. So once you have done a few runs, you will find the right corners immediately every single time. And if you have a dash monk like this, you can do this super fast. It's also possible to do it at almost a similar pace with other classes, but I would recommend this one if you want to farm this for a while. And you see here the Butcher dropped 7 shards and also the Skeleton King dropped 7 shards and then you just reset and go again. And that was already the whole run, so rinse and repeat and I've done this for 1 hour and I just wanted to see how much I can get, especially with my goal of pushing many different sets and many different builds this season. I need a lot of these regular gems and I have just added a few more sets to that, so I need to augment a lot. With the soul shards in general, you don't have any trouble actually making augments, but you're running out of regular gems. So this is a very good source in case you are running low on those. So here after this one hour of farming, I was uh, calculating the results, and you can see here this is all the stuff that I've only gotten from this one hour of doing the Tristram event. And we had, uh, I think, 61 flawless royal gems, which uh, equals 27 Imperial Gems each and we had like around 1600 or something Imperial Gems as well which added together was around 3350 Imperial Gems. So this is a lot, you cannot get anywhere close to that with any other means. One Augment requires 81 Imperial Gems to get free Flawless Royal so I averaged it out and I calculated that I found 41 Augments. Of course you need the Soul Shard still but typically you stack them up way faster than the regular gems. So usually the bottleneck are those regular gems in this season at least. So basically every single run gives you around one Augment on average. And you can do this in like one and a half minutes. As I said I've done like 40 or something runs in this one hour. So even if you're a bit slower, it's gonna be incredibly efficient and I can just recommend you guys trying that out for as long as it lasts. The build I use for this is the inner bounty variant, so I have a full video on that already. So this is three pieces of raiment, five pieces of uh, inner, and then lots of resource cost reduction, cooldown reduction, and these kind of things. And uh, then you can just like perma dash around basically, you have like a lot of cooldown recovery as well from Messerschmitts here. You can even put in a fragment of destruction, I was just running for Topaz here, because usually I try to make use of the broken crown effect and down these with this, so I went with a normal gem, but you can even make this setup a bit better. So you just activate water allies and then as long as you have enough spirit, your dash will not cost any charges so you can permanently dash around, which is insanely fast. As I mentioned, go check out the full guide for the Darkening of Tristram event if you like, it's in the description. There's also the max roll post with the overview and also the link to this build guide here if you don't know this yet. So that's already it for this video. Wish you good luck on your own farming in Season 25 and see you guys next time.